Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by a regulator. Leon Keng Tai is the Deputy CEO of the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore. Regulators, they don't normally get involved in development. Tell me how you see the role of a regulator evolving today. I think uh, in today's world, the regulator has to be focused on uh, an outcome, a national outcome. And therefore, looking at regulation purely in its technical form, I think is insufficient today. So in Singapore, actually about 10 years ago, in a way we experimented with combining a regulator's role and a development role. Basically, the whole idea is that can we bring more tools into our toolbox, not just regulatory tools, but also how government can uh, incentivize or work with the industry to create a national outcome which pure regulations would not achieve. What would you say has been the uh, biggest achievement that uh, you've had in this area? I think the biggest achievement would be our rollout of our national fibre to the home network, which started about six years ago. Again, the idea then was that uh, if we wanted every household in Singapore to have fibre to home at a very affordable rate, the question is, can we leave it totally to pure market forces? We came to the conclusion that we could, but it might take longer than what we would have liked. And in order to ensure Singapore's competitiveness, we probably need to do something from other than just regulations, but also combining with development. So that is what we did combining with uh, some co-investment by the government, working with the industry, and at the same time applying regulatory tools, we wanted to have a nationwide fibre to the home network achieved in two, two to three years time and at a very affordable rate. So today in Singapore, any household can get a one gigabit per second fibre to the home for about 30 US dollars and I think that is quite an achievement because of this combination of regulations and development. Would you say that Singapore therefore serves as a model uh, for other countries that you've managed to combine successfully development and the role of a regulator? I think this is something that uh, I would say that regulators of today should consider because the world is getting complicated and really Infrastructure alone is insufficient because, well, this is, we are talking about world information society. The key is information society, not just communication infrastructure. And therefore, I think we need to look at a higher level, looking at what you want to achieve as a country. And then from there, in a way, work backwards and see what tools you have in your toolkit. And you really need that combination either at a single agency level or even if it's at multiple agency level, you, we will need to find a way to coordinate, coordinate those efforts such that you achieve a higher level outcome for the country. Leo Keng Tai, Deputy CEO of the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore, thank you very much for joining us this Most afternoon. Welcome. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where you will hear from regulators, experts from the private and public sector on the difference that information and communication technology can make to people's lives.